Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I wanted to share with you guys all the things I'm entering into my county fair. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I thought it'd be fun to share with you everything that I'm taking to my county fair tomorrow morning to enter uh, into the exhibits. Um, our fair has a ton of exhibits. It's our, our county's fair is actually one of the oldest county fairs in our state. Um, I can't even remember what this year's number is, but it's, it's in the hundreds already of years of doing it. And um, normally, the last two years, I've entered a ton of stuff, usually like 20-something categories. This year, I didn't have that much time uh, free in between um, sewing bags and getting ready for a craft fair that I got coming up in October. But I did manage to finish 13 things to enter this year, and I have to take them in the morning between 8 and 12 on Saturday, August 31st to get them entered into our fair. So I thought I would go through, show you guys everything. And I got my computer right here and all the links will be in the description box below if you're interested in any of these patterns. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. Some of them, uh, at least one of them, <laughs> it was just, uh, you know, not really a pattern. It's, it's my own thing mixed with um, some patterns from other people. And one thing I'm entering in the fair is over here, I can't share it with you guys. It's a Halloween decoration because it's a pattern that I wrote myself and I'm releasing it on September 13th, which is Friday the 13th. But let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, they're in no particular order. I just have them all stacked up here. So I'm going to try to <laughs> share them without making an avalanche, which I just kind of did a little. But the first category is in sewing and our fair is really lenient. Uh, they're not real picky about uh like you would think sewing would just be material things that people sewed with their hands or by machine. But they count amigurumis and crochet stuff too because you sew bits and pieces together. They're all the, the women, it's all women mostly, um, who run the sewing crafts and needlework uh, categories that I always enter into. Um, they're always really nice, just older ladies who really enjoy what they're doing and they're really nice and helpful. Uh, and if I have a random item, they will help me find a category to put it in. Now, our fair does have a ton of different categories. It has photography, um, different types of drawing and painting and canning and flower arrangements and all kinds of crafts. And then they have the 4-H ones for the kids. It's like uh, the, f the food and uh, animals and stuff like that. And also for the adults, you can do like baking and stuff like that. We have tons of categories, like hundreds of categories. But, uh, you know, I always do needlework ones. But the three main categories I enter is sewing, needle craft, and called crafting. And then in each of those categories, there are tons of different lots. So for sewing, <laughs> I uh, one lot is called stuffed toy. So uh, I always enter an me into that. And this year, I'm going to enter this bunny. Big old pink bunny. I made this earlier this year or late last year. I can't exactly remember. But our the rules at our fair is you have to... They have to be made in between the last fair and the current fair. So as long as I made it after the last fair and before this fair, uh, it counts. So this is just the big bunny. This is technically a paid pattern because I did this out of a book that I bought at, I think, Joann's. And the pattern's called Winnie the Rabbit. And it's in the book Cuddly Animals to Crochet. I will try to find that book like on Amazon and link it below. But it's just a big, giant amigurumi. One of the arms is kind of twisted, but I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, the yarn, I made the body with this, and I love this yarn. Speckled, I can't remember the name. It's been a while. And I just made eyes. And the hot pink is um, a red heart saber saver. <laughs> I can't remember the color. I don't think it's called hot pink. It's uh, something. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just a big bunny. I had a lot of people ask me why I didn't put a tail, like a fluffy pom-pom tail. And it's because I am putting this in my craft fair and I don't like pom-poms because they, one, they fall apart real easily. And uh, I figured if a kid bought this, I didn't want them tearing the, part, the tail off like immediately. So uh, that's why I didn't put a tail on it. <laughs> I thought about crocheting like a ball and putting it on there, but I don't have any more of this yarn and uh, I think it's discontinued. I don't know. But anyways, that's my bunny. Okay, the next one is purse. So it could be any kind of purse. <laughs> and this one I did make a while ago too. This is called the Urban Nomad Boho Bag by Make and Do Crew. It is a free pattern. Get the string off of it. But it is just, it's made out of Red Heart Super Saver uh, ran. So it's like an off-white. It's got a bunch of tassels on it. 
I did intend to line it. I just never got around to it. But I did put a uh, strap on it. And this strap I just got at a thrift store. It was, you know, attached to a little wallet purse for like a dollar or two. And I bought it just for the strap. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I did put the uh, strap on there. I might line it eventually. I don't know. <laughs> but it's, this is a really easy, quick pattern, too. It's basically two squares and then you make two half squares and you just sew them all together so this is going to be my purse i've never entered a purse so it's, this is cool to be like a new category this year and uh we'll see if i get a good ribbon okay the last uh sewing category um that i'm entering is crocheted hat <laughs> and so i made this hat this is a heidi yates pattern fluffing up the, the pom-pom it's been laying down but it's called the the pattern is called Cool Beanies because there's like four or five different beanie patterns in it. But this is the tiger one out of that. So it's a tiger wearing sunglasses. So this is a child size beanie. It fits on Jesse's head. Wink. It's got ears and a pom pom. And the pom pom is removable. I put it on there to where I could take it off and wash it or whatever. But, um, so that's my crochet hat. <laughs> I don't think I've ever, yeah, my Magic Carp one won uh, two years ago. Alright, the next category is Needlecraft. And it's uh, the two Afghans that I'm entering. I'll probably pop up clips of them, at least the big one. But the big one is just a crochet Afghan category. And it's the Halloween Blanket by Maria's Blue Crown. It is a free pattern. It was a crochet along. And then I did also align it with uh, fleece recently. I shared that one in my more recent videos. And then the baby afghan category is the High Tide Waves Blanket by B-Ball Blanket. And it was free pattern when I did it. It was a crochet along, but now it's a pay for pattern. But it's really beautiful. And I made it in Red Heart uh, Super Saver Ombre Aqua, or Scuba. I've showed this a lot recently while I was working on it. But yeah, so that's my baby blanket. And I do plan on making this actually bigger once the fair is over uh, because I still have a lot of this yarn left and I want to use it up. Okay, the last category is crafts. So my first craft is all the way back here in the back. <laughs> all right, the first category I'm going to enter in crafts is a uh, decorated basket. <laughs> so I'm going to enter my big Jaden stitches big beautiful basket <laughs> it's a free video tutorial um i made this recently i can't remember when but it's just a ton of variegated yarns all held together big old crochet basket <laughs> and then the next category is crochet stocking well christmas stocking <laughs> not crochet and this is the hermosa stocking by melody's makings it's a free pattern I made this early this year. It's really pretty. It's got like uh, bubbles on it. It's really nice. I like it. It's, it's a little small, but it's still really cute. And it's Red Heart Super Saver cherry and white. But it's a fairly decent size stocking, I guess. Really pretty. And Christmas tree ornament stocking. Stocking? Christmas tree ornament category is what I want to say. I just made this um, two days ago and it is called, what is it called? Joy Crochet Angel by Mbaka Design. It's free. She has a ton of angel pa um, patterns. I love the wings. They're made with slip stitches but they almost look knit. <laughs> I do need to put a hanger on it. I think I'm just going to use a piece of yarn. But I made that for the ornament category. I keep forgetting how to say that. And then, what is next? Christmas wreath. This one, the wreath form, I just did my own thing. It's just um, red and green stripes. And then the, the reindeer that's on it is uh, the Reindeer Ragdoll by Passionate Crafter. Free pattern. And then it's holding a strand of Christmas lights. That is Christmas lights by Repeat Crafter Me, also a free pattern. So that's just a uh, Christmas wreath. <laughs> And the Halloween decoration, I done told you I can't show you until after September 13th. And then there's a toy category. This took me forever to figure out because I have so many amigurumis right now for my craft fair. I wanted to pick out one to enter into it. So I did enter 
I'm going to choose to enter this little sheep. <laughs> and this is the Amigurumi sheep pattern. I can't say the company that makes it. It's in a different language. But the link will be below. But it's just cute. It's made with Red Heart Super Saver Buff. And this is Bernat Pipsqueak White. He's so cute. <laughs> but uh, I had a hard time choosing which toy I wanted to enter into that category. But I think the sheep is cute. So I'm entering him. And then the last two categories is um, Patriotic Wreath. And I made this earlier this year. Oh, I'm having technical difficulties turning at this board thingy. The wreath form, or the pattern of, on the base, is American Flag Wreath by Kara Gunza. This little thing in the middle was just from Dollar Tree. I bought it, it came in like a three piece, and I just stuck that in there <laughs> to give it some more pizzazz. And then the last category I'm entering this year is Patriotic decoration that's not a wreath and I'm entering my spirit <laughs> my big spirit eagle which is called spirit the eagle stuffy by Heidi Yates it is a paid for pattern but it's cute <laughs> if you're American or if you like eagles and you could change the colors to make it a pink one or something else but this is supposed to be an eagle because America <laughs> but uh yeah so it is a paid for pattern and you can get it on her Ravelry or her snappy tops tots website I think yeah so that's all the categories I'm entering in the fair this year. Next year I hope to enter more if I'm not as busy, but you know I don't know right now what I'm going to be doing next year. This year's just been a really busy year um, with all the no catchy name bag stuff and then all the craft fair preparations and then just normal life stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is all the stuff I'm entering and tomorrow morning I will take it to our fair office thing and enter it, get it in there, and then I won't know if I want anything until 6 p.m. tomorrow evening we'll all go back me Devin and Jesse and we'll see if I want anything and then we're gonna enjoy the fair um Jesse says he doesn't want to ride any rides so I guess we'll just run around and play some of the games and get some food and go home and yeah so I will take you guys with me tomorrow as much as I can and share everything and you will see it probably tomorrow night and hopefully I'll win something I don't know I'll see you guys at the fair bye